Systema Scotland was created as a, a new way of thinking about the regeneration of communities within Scotland. So it was originally Richard Holloway's idea, he had the vision to really look at um, what is it that communities need to be able to rebalance um, some of the inequality that has been, a, you know, and we see in its particular communities in Scotland over a long time. So in 2007, Richard had the idea, there was a lot of physical rebuilding happening across some of our communities in Scotland. We were having some small social programmes that were at sort of attached or aligned with some of the physical rebuild within communities. But Richard's vision was that actually, if we are really going to be able to make a real um, attempt to, to tackle some of this deep-rooted inequality, we have to do that on a scale that is equivalent to some of the ways that we're approaching the physical rebuild of communities. So Systema Scotland essentially is about using music as a tool and long-term, deep-rooted relationships with communities to be able to use all of the transferable skills that come with learning music, that come with being part of a collective effort, that using the orchestra as a tool within the community to bring children together, to bring families together, and to bring inspiration, hope, ambition, and all of the transferable skills that children, young people, and families learn from, being, from learning an instrument, from being part of an orchestra, to really reset the balance of what that community is, what it can be, and what it wants to be into the future. The name Sistema Scotland originated from the work in Venezuela, El Sistema. So we took our original inspiration from the philosophy of the work that was happening in Venezuela. Um, we wanted to ensure that we, we acknowledge that inspiration from Venezuela, but also in our communities were known as Big Noise. So the children of Scotland chose the name Big Noise back in 2008 when we started in Raplock. So we're known as Big Noise, but we also recognise that we're part of this international community of Sistema programmes worldwide. So these communities, because of loss of industry, because of deindustrialisation, because of the fact that it, there was a kind of entrenched lack of opportunity and structural poverty in terms of that inequality within the country, my own personal feeling is that there was sort of a lack of um, expectation, demand from the community that actually things can change and things should be changed. There could have been a sort of professional lack of expectation that begins to set in over a period of time. So our role is not to do everything, but it's to bring back that inspiration, that hope um, to view the communities through a different lens. So I really specifically use those words around about expectation because we know some of those negative outcomes were happening. However, I think our role is to challenge that again and say we can do better, we can do differently. And I always talk with the Raplock community about the fact that sometimes the parents credit us with too much because sometimes they actually say big noise did this to our community. No, the community did it. The community chose to step in when the opportunity arose. The children and young people turned up every single day. They practiced, they committed. So I think what Big Noise has done is it's just shown Raplock through a new lens. It has allowed the world to see the good and the, the talent and the commitment and the dedication of the children, young people and the families that were already here. So Big Noise was about taking a new lens, putting it on the filter and showing our communities for what they really are and all the beauty, the joy, the hope, the talent, the skill that is there in all children and young people in Scotland if we can do this bigger and we can do it with more resource. I got involved with Big Noise back in 2011 when the woodwind, brass and percussion staff came into my primary school class and played to us. I remember as a child being so mesmerised and because I'd never seen like an instrument or that in real life. Um, after they played to us we got the chance to play different instruments and as a child the trombone just looked so different and cool to me. I loved how it could sound so lyrical. We've seen multiple impacts. So on the children and young people, we see a huge impact on their confidence, an impact on their well-being, many transferable skills for learning. And those really um, begin early, but they become more and more consolidated the longer the children and young people stay in the programme. 
but also we see impact on their families and people round about them. So we've had a lot of feedback and evaluation from parents, from carers, and from that network of people round about the children and young people and within the community. Parents often tell us about the confidence that they see in their children and young people and the fact that seeing their children and young people as part of this helps them to feel hopeful for their future. It helps them to begin to think about how they might be able to support them with their sort of broader goals and ambitions. And particularly in Rathlog, where I've got much more personal experience of this myself from when we started and then being close to the community here as we were, I was very personally involved in developing it. I sort of definitely saw a real change in gear in terms of the community being more demanding of what they wanted for their children and young people. So I say this in the best way possible, um, especially in 2012, when we were able to bring Gustavo Dudamel and the Simon Bolivar Youth Orchestra over for the, the London Olymp um, Cultural Olympic Festival. Um, after that, the community started to come in to us and say, okay, what next? What are we going to do next? What do we have to do to be able to make that happen? So that real sense of um, agency within both the children and young people, but actually expanding that out to the community as well has been really exciting. And that's what Big Noise and Systema Scotland has always been about. It's been working through the children and young people, starting young with them, but as they grow up, connecting into their families, expanding the Big Noise community so it also has parents and babies, adult orchestra, that the whole community can feel that they can connect in and be part of something that actually gives them that sense of really positive identity, that sense of ambition, and that real sense of inspiration and hope. Yeah, they are very, my parents are very proud. My mum loves Big Noise, she tries to get involved as much as she can. She also tried to learn euphonium a couple of months back and it's been nice to try teach her a bit of music as well so she can get involved. Every time we go into a new community we tend to start with children when they're about five to eight years old. The musicians start working with the partner schools so for a period of time we go in and we work within the schools and we begin with general musicianship was singing, we had used a combination of different pedagogical approaches to try to get the best out of every child. We predominantly work in groups when the children are young and we begin through the school in their early stages as part of their curriculum. But then at a young age, we want them to opt into an after school orchestral programme. So about age seven, eight, we're asking the children quite young to begin to commit in their own time to come to that. We start to work with them then two, three, four nights a week in an after school structure program. And we continue working with them right through their journey into adulthood. So the idea is start young, get their interests, get their, you know, really interested en masse. And you can be really inclusive by involving all children within your, when, when you're within the school environment, get them to opt in as young as possible. So you're nurturing that commitment to that structure of the extended school day from a young age, what we then have to do is to really look at some of the families where the children need extra support to be able to commit to that or extra support to be able to learn. And then we're targeting again within the community. So we're looking at those children and families and we're talking to their families and their school partners and any other professionals in their lives to say, what can we do more of to be able to help them to learn? Eventually, as the programme matures within a community, we add a baby noise programme, we add an adult programme, we have choirs in some communities as well. Um, so we're trying to, again, expand that out so that we're covering as many community members as possible can be a part of Big Noise if they would like to. And then throughout the holiday programmes, we have um, holiday clubs and we have lots of inspirational moments throughout the year. So that might be performances by the children, it might be visiting artists, it might be residentials for the children, it could be take a musician home for tea, where the musicians go into the children and families' homes and they do a concert for them within their community. So as much as we can do to be part of the fabric of the community we're based within. When I was younger, I lacked confidence and was very shy. Um, so with the opportunities and chances to meet people from all around the world, I've built on my social skills. And also the chance to play both solo and ensembles and orchestras, I've 
it has given me the chance to find this new confidence in myself. So we are very, um, very, very privileged to have this ongoing relationship with the Youth Orchestra of LA. Um, it came about a number of years ago, um, partly because of Gustavo Dudamel um, and Gustavo's connection with, of course, Venezuelan El Sistema, then going to LA and having that connection with Sistema Scotland from 2008 when he became our patron of Sistema Scotland. So there was already this connection there. And then when um, we got together um, as leaders of those institutions, we found there was just a really human connection around about who we were, the work that we were trying to do with our children and young people. There was a real strength within our organisations in terms of that we were really strong on that drive for the quality of the musical, um, tuition and excellence, but also that um, wider thinking around about how do you develop young people's agency? How do you develop their um, additional support around about making sense of their own identity, what they can do within their community? And so we've, we've really had this great synergy. YOLA Youth Orchestra Los Angeles is the LA Field's leading education and community program. Um, it was founded back in 2007. And since then, we've had the honor to engage with thousands of students and families. And today, YOLA is part of the LA Field's DNA. And it's, it's one of the ways that we um, uh, work on our mission as a nonprofit organization and as a community resource. And YOLA provides young people ages 5 through 18 with free instruments, free instrumental instruction, both in school and after school, up to 12 to 18 hours each week, um, academic supports, college preparation, but also leadership training and opportunities to perform on stages in the community and around the world. And YOLA is a positive and creative youth development program that's dedicated exclusively to youth from low-income families and from under-resourced communities where access to music education continues to be limited. So I've been with them at, since I was five. I was in the choir and I believe when I was six I started um, with the violin. So uh, in Yola I'm really thankful for the uh, many opportunities we get with them such as playing side by side with professional musicians performing in venues such as Walt Disney Color Hall and the Hollywood Bowl and having coachings with members of the LA Phil. I am grateful for the family that I have become part of. Yeah, youth orchestra programs are more than music making. Um, I mean, it, we're, we're focusing on the development of the whole child and the orchestra itself is, is kind of like a community and it's a perfect place to develop skills like team building, like you're constantly listening to each other, you are having to respond and, and there's values within um, orchestra education and, and um, like, like team building and responsibility and um, mutual agreements that are at the core of ensemble playing that are really beneficial to um, the growth of a child. And, um, if you just think about, uh, you know, if you're in an orchestra setting and the trumpet player has to play his or her notes and then that's right when you come in and you have to wait and it has to be exactly timed at the same time, you have to be there together. And if you do that in harmony, there's just this beautiful collaboration. Um, and if you think about young people having to do that and those skills and values that are so, so at the core of, of orchestra training are applicable in so many settings, like in other subject areas in school, but also in life, just in, in as life skills. And um, so in, in thinking about the importance of having it um, uh, being active, creative human beings and making beautiful music together, um, that's, that's a big part of, of what orchestra and music making is about. Well, music has helped me stay focused and like calm in like these weird challenging times. It serves like as a way for me to express my emotions and it allows me to bond with others who share the same passion. Um, there were times when, well, when the school was still starting, um, there was times when I was like stressed and swamped by projects and essays with 
early and yeah, early di deadlines. Um, listening and playing music um, temporarily um, removed my worries and I was able to relax for a bit. Um, afterwards, I would feel, I would have a better clarity of mind and I would feel less stressed. It's been pretty amazing that now that we're all um, getting used to living into this digital era, um, we've actually been able to reconnect with our colleagues in Scotland. Um, just last year, um, when the LA Phil had a residency um, at the Edinburgh International Festival with Gustavo Dudamel, um, we were able to bring uh, a group of 20 of our young musicians, actually from our national program, so from across the United States, with us to Edinburgh, who engaged in a residency with um, young people from Big Noise, from Sistema Scotland. So they had a week together last year in 2019 where they made music together, they got to know each other, um, who they are as, as people, as musicians. There was a beautiful cultural exchange that happens and um, it all culminated with a open rehearsal led by Gustavo Dudamel at Usher Hall. Having Gustavo was kind of scary but like we all wanted to like be our best for him but it was also really fun like he's such an amazing guy and he's really funny and he, he did really make a difference in the rehearsals you could hear the difference that he made. He's, like just the way he he's so creative, the way he thinks and the way he described the music to us. And I think that really got everyone like playing really well. I think he's a big inspiration to all of us, both YOLO and Big Noise musicians, because he has been where we all have. And look how he's like, su su successful he is now. Like, yeah, we, we all really look up to him. Collaborating with the YOLO musicians is something I'll probably never forget. Um, it was really interesting to get to know them and learn about their cultures from learning about their politics and it was also really inspiring to see the dedication and talent in all of the Yolo musicians and I got to see firsthand the younger people from the Big Noise Orchestra like be inspired by them as well. And they all made such amazing friendships and bonds with them that we'll have forever. Firstly I'd tell the young people that even when it gets hard and you become a typical teenager, I'd tell them to definitely stick in at a big noise. Of all the amazing opportunities that they'll be missing out on if they don't, and all the amazing people they can meet, and all the chances that they won't have if they're not at big noise. It's just so supportive and it's, a, it's like a family. So I think it's something that every young child needs. Uh, I would tell the um, policymakers to invest more into music ed education and um, making it more accessible to others mm -hmm. and also adding it to the curriculum because it can help students who would um, focus and stress. Um, it can also be therapeutic for those who have maybe nervousness and anxiety when it comes to school. Uh, it also teaches um, them discipline, perseverance, and patience. Uh, it helps them with their confidence and it can also boost their self-esteem. And music is a good way to connect people in so many ways. So my recommendation to policymakers is to really think about systematic change when it comes to excess and sequential music education. Every young people, regardless of their socioeconomic background, should have access to um, free music education in their schools and in their communities. Right now, our children and young people, they need hope, they need inspiration, and they need places where their skills, their talents, their passion and their energy can be channeled more than ever. As our world begins to open again, I urge you, please, to ensure that our artists, our musicians, our creative practitioners can be placed within the forefront of our recovery now to ensure that all of our communities have access to high quality, participatory, creative practice. Our child and young people, they need it to process what's happened to them. They will need it to reimagine what their community and their world should be. And we will need them in the future to build us this for us. 
So please, I urge you, keep doing your work to ensure that we're not thought about afterwards. We are absolutely placed centrally now as key assets that can help to reshape the future that we need. Like we all play different notes and parts. And it sounds like some weird, but when everyone plays together, um, it's, we create something beautiful.